Good morning guys, I've completely abandoned the use of my tripod today so I'm just balancing it on my TV, see how that works out. If it's good I might use that until I get a new tripod. So I come to you with a empties video today. This may or may not be because I saw my best friend Chloe upload one recently and I thought oh crap I need to do one too. Yeah, anyway, this is a kind of collective one from the past three months, yeah, March, April and May. And it is coming to you a bit earlier because I know that the next couple of days of the month I'm going to be quite busy. I've got MCM on, on Saturday and then I'm going to try and real, really like knuckle down even more with my coursework for the rest of the month. Um, not that that's not going to carry on going for the rest of the other month. But yeah, um, let's get straight into it. These are in no particular order. I'll just grab, up, uh, grab something and tell you something about it. The first thing I've not really seen many people show in empties and it is basically for my own remembering because I want to find something similar but it is these pair of tights they have cats going all around the leg and it kind of looks like a uh, stocking where it's black here and it stops and it's got the tight at uh, the cat print and then it kind of looks like skin. Um, I really love these I got these from Primark probably like a couple of like maybe last year actually um i know they weren't that expensive <coughs> but they are around two to three pounds i'd say um yeah these ripped recently so i thought i'd show them just so i remember to try and find a pair similar the next thing is something else i don't really see and i might be getting a bit too intimate with you guys but it's i've just got the box here it's just the infinity always sanitary towels and i wanted to show you these because i <laughs> came across these because I heard that they are like memory foam and I was like well that's a bit weird I'm so sorry if you guys find this awkward but I'm like yeah this is a bit weird so I thought I'd try them out and oh my god I know this is too much info but it feels like I've not got one like a towel on it really does like I haven't got a pad on or anything it's so comfortable and I just think it makes me feel comfortable going out you know um and the only thing is I wouldn't recommend it <laughs> when you're quite heavy on your period because you do panic well I panicked quite a few times in the beginning I was like oh crap I've forgotten to put a pad on but no um they are very lightweight it feels like you've got nothing on um and I'll definitely be repurchasing these if any of you'd like to know the next thing I have here is the Vite hair removal cream with aloe vera and vitamin e for sensitive skin now this is just um a cream you put on and you shave it usually comes with a little scraper thing I think it's actually used to apply the cream but I usually like scrape it off as well um yeah it does it does really well it tends to burn if you go over the maximum time of 10 minutes it does get a bit itchy and burnish um it's not for very sensitive areas, so just really legs and armpit. Um, it does recommend bikini line, but that's up to you if you're sens too sensitive around there or not to do that. Um, I never repurchase the same one of these, but they're usually V on there. Uh, it's just because I can't really find the same one, and they're not that great to specifically go out and get that one, if you know what I mean. But yeah, um, I just generally stick to these kind of things if I want to make the process a bit quicker rather than shaving and cutting myself and stuff like that, you know. The next thing I have here is the... Ew. Sorry, I said ill because it's like all gathered now at the bottom. But it's the uh, Body Shop Tea Tree, Tea Tree Skin Clearing Toner. I said that really weirdly. It has this kind of minty feel on the skin. Very tingling. It's kind of rejuvenating and very refreshing, especially in the morning time. I would recommend this. But I probably won't get it again because I only got it on sale last time. And I know these things can be kind of expensive. So, yeah. The next thing is another kind of body skincare thing and it's the Garnier Body Intensive 17 Days Nourishing Lotion and it is mango oil flavour. So I got this as a part of a Christmas present and oh my god it smells absolutely amazing. It's so sweet but not sickly sweet, it's just like a sweet mango and it's my skin even after shaving or um, using the cream to shave my legs or whatever, my skin felt really soft. But at times it did irritate it a little bit. I didn't get any inflammation or anything like that. But it did sting just a little bit because I think it's quite rich in what it's got inside there. Next thing I have is the Vanilla Bliss Shower Gel from the Body Shop also. This smells really nice and kind of creamy. But it does have a kind of weird sort of smoky scent almost. Um, that put me off a little bit. But at the time I just kind of thought mm, it smells like vanilla cake or biscuit or something like that. So that took my mind off of it. Um, I love vanilla scents but I probably wouldn't go out specifically to buy just this product again because 
I don't know, you can get things like this much cheaper and I don't know, it just wasn't that amazing. Next thing I have here, I've had it for years actually, is the Peppermint Smoothing Pumice Foot Scrub from also the Body Shop. Um, it's got like really thick granules, like the exfoliation is very harsh so I wouldn't really go out to get this even for my feet like I work on a um, uh, animal sanctuary so it's a lot of hard work and my feet are getting crushed in my steel toed boots um, but even so it's really like they it hurt like it, it, my feet were too sensitive for this so I would not go out and get this again if I had the choice <laughs> Next I have the N-Spa Fruit Extracts in Mango Flavour Shower and Bath Gel. I love this stuff and I also have the accompanying vanilla one and yeah these are just perfect. I love N-Spa and I love all their kind of products. I've got the, uh, the body butters up there to go with each one and I recommend these. Next I have the Dove Go Fresh Nourishing Body Watch Re Wash Rebalance. This is in the flavour Plum and Sakura Blossom Scent. Um, yeah it was really nice. It's most people think Dove is for like older people, but I I think anyone can use it. It's very gentle to the skin, um, and you do have that light, uh, subtle scent left on your skin after you've come out of the bath or the shower. If you don't like that kind of thing, I'd avoid that product. But it it's not too strong. It's not in your face. You could just get a, a slight um, whiff of it. Next two things I've sort of stuck together because they're also part of my um, Project Ten pan, which has been. <laughs> everlasting it just will not stop so I might go into more detail about these when I do a updated completely finished project 10 pan video which I plan to do when I finish um, but it's just the uh, Avon gel glide on stick black pen and a really old Avon shadow stick I think it's just like a silvery brown color but yeah I'll go into more details on those when I do a video specific to that in the future. Next I only have the cut out section because I was trying to squeeze out every little bit of this because it's so cool. It's the Blackhead Clearing Daily Cleanser by Claire, uh, Claire Skin I think it is and I got this from Avon as well and it's basically just these blue, uh, you can't really see in there but it's just these blue granules in a gel consistency and it's a very light exfoliant. It was really nice and I f it was soft enough to use every day but not I don't want to say harsh because it sounds bad but harsh enough to do the job and do it right. Next thing is another makeup product it's the Revlon Colour Stay Eyeliner Crayon thing um, it's one of those twisty up tubes I remember this just being like because I hadn't used it for ages but I remember it being quite harsh and it did drag my eye line I wouldn't buy this again specifically I'm just not really a fan of the rolly up tubes of eyeliner. I much prefer the ones that you sharpen yourself or just liquid eyeliner or something like that. Don't ask me why, I just, I am. So yeah, I didn't really like this product. The next thing is my Baby Lips uh, Maybelline Lip Balm in the colour Cherry Me. I really got deep into the crevices and tried to scrape out every last drop because I really loved it. It had an awesome smell. It took me forever to find out what the scent was for this. I just couldn't place it. I, I eventually came to the conclusion that it smelled like cherry drops. But if I had read the name of the like flavour, I would have got to that conclusion much quicker. Um, I also think the packaging is so, so cute. I mean, those contrasting colours are just adorable. I had the same colours on my nails the other day. Like that print, ignore the cheapness. I had like the polka dots and whatever. But with these colours, pink and orange. Um, so yeah, I definitely would buy some more baby lips, probably try some others in the range because I know there's like tons of them now. And the last thing I have is also from Avon, it's the Advanced Techniques 360 Nourish Nourishment Moroccan Argan Oil. Very pretty packaging, I have the whole um, hairline at the moment. Um, this is what the bottle looks like, it's one of those pumps. It gets pretty difficult to pump out when you get this kind of last remnants of it, but it smells really really nice and I always when I have it on in the morning I always get compliments on the scent of my hair um, it makes it feel so soft makes it look really silky and naturally shiny um, it's not heavy weight because it's quite a light oil you know you just need a pump or two depending on your hair type um, it's really just revitalizing for the hair and I've seen big differences especially because I have color treated and relaxed hair I do see big differences whilst using this in the um, the characteristics of my hair so this is all for my empties video i hope you've enjoyed before i properly go i'd like to say the next garden of eden makeup tutorial may or may not be the video after this one when i upload it i may end up filming some stuff at expo and put that up before the second one but you know um 
just so you know <laughs> so yeah i will speak to you guys later and have an excellent day bye